Hi everybody and welcome to the Starseed Dragon. Um the Starseed Dragon channel. Um today we are reviewing the um Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Deck and Guidebook. This is an Oracle deck. It's written and illustrated by Kim Kranz. And let's see, it um, comes with a large keepsake box with a lifting ribbon, uh, 63 full color cards in elegant compact box, and illustrated 208 page guidebook. Um, this deck, it retails USA $39.99 and Canada $49.99. Um, I'm really excited to get this deck um, and review it because um, I am subscribed to several um, tarot readers on YouTube, but one of my favorite ones actually uses this deck all the time. So I'm really excited to break into this deck and review it. Um, it's got that metallic -y, oops, just knocked over my camera. The metallic y rainbow y. It's pretty cool. So let me get into this. Um, what I'm going to do, as usual, is I'm going to um, I'm going to um, show you each card individually and um, read the descriptions from the guidebook. I'm not going to read all of the guidebook because um, you know, it may have different spreads or, um, different acknowledgements and, and whatnot. And I'm not going to read those. I'm just going to read the descriptions of each card. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh it slides out. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, oh, you may always be on the inner quest. Well, this is beautiful. Let's see, look how thick this book is. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So let's go over to the So we have understanding the deck, using the deck, deeper insights, and the wild unknown animal spirit. Let's see. Okay, so these are, I'm not going to read this part. Um, long, long ago. Okay. Control selection. Using the deck. What to ask? Card of the day. This is this is pretty in depth. We have some Okay, then we go into we might start here. Let's find out. Let us find out. It's got a nice ribbon. And then I'm obviously not doing it right. Okay. That's nice. Wow, there's all kinds of craziness going on in here. Oh. 
two feet, four feet scales or hide, may our minds stay open and our wings span wide. It's got a little ribbon in here. Okay, so these are not wrapped up like we usually have wrapped up. What's in, what is this? Oh, it's just the bottom. Okay. So, we're going to just move all of this aside. Wow, that is really great stuff going on. Now these cards, I have a normal size hand, so they're pretty large cards. Let's take our measurements. They are five inches by three inches or is that uh, a little over 12 centimeters by a little over seven centimeters? And let me just get this centered for us. Okay, so here we go. Let's see, Earth. Yep, we're starting with Earth. Okay, so let me start reading. Bear, waking from spiritual slumber, beginning anew. After a long winter, the bear arises from deep slumber. At first, the movement and effort are difficult, but the bear knows it's time to awaken and move toward the dawning light. The bear card represents an individual on the cusp of new directions and personal transformation. The initial weeks and months of this spiritual quest may feel tricky, cumbersome, and full of obstacles, but you have no choice, bear. Winter wanes, the warmth of spring emerges, and your transformation begins. When in balance, inner strength yearning to grow. When out of balance, withdrawal, lethargy, and heaviness to bring into balance movement and exercise. Bear. Earth. So these, these are all earth. Okay. Let's move on to the next one, which is earthworm. That's beautiful. Earthworm, shy, hesitant, reluctant to share inner vision. We have all felt the woes of the earthworm at some point along the way. The earthworm indicates a newbie or novice working to establish confidence in a new field, others around you may seem wise and experienced, but it is important to remember they once felt earthworm energy too. This card is a reminder not to be intimidated or lose hope. Mastery takes time and you're on the right track. Besides, rumor has it, uh, a beginner's mind offers the most valuable insights. I'm just going to shine some more light on this. There. More light. Excellent. Um, when in balance, earnest, intelligent, valuable. When out of balance, self-conscious, um, apprehensive. To bring into balance, speak up, risk embarrassment. That is beautiful. Next card. Oh, the mouse. The mouse. It's a cute little mouse. Detail oriented, small minded, nitpicky, nervous. The mouse has an innate desire to tend to the details. It often spends its days fixing, preparing, organizing, and scrutinizing. 
unfortunately, a mouse personality doesn't notice when they've gone too far. Soon they begin to have a limited and fearful vision of life and try to control every detail. This can be quite a painful experience for both the mouse and those around them. When mouse energy is at play, step back for a moment. It may be time to find a more purposeful project to delve into one that's worthy of your exacting eye. When in balance, organized, resourceful, prepared. When out of balance, busy with no purpose. To bring into balance a meaningful perf a project. Hmm. I really like this book. Okay. Next up under Earth is the rabbit. Afraid of everything, overwhelmed, frozen. The rabbit loves to remind his friends that somebody that someday the eagle will swoop down and eat him. He talks and talks and talks about it. So loudly, in fact, that one day the eagle hears and thanks him for the great idea. <laughs> uh, rabbit energy is alive when we are scared, most often about the future. And we become our own worst enemy. We spin up a dust cloud of fear and then complain to others that we are lost. Notice your thoughts and words, O oh rabbits. They shape your destiny. When in balance, sensitive, problem solver, good listener. When out of balance, over explains, talks fast. To bring into balance, a day of silence. Wow. <laughs> This is fun. Okay. Next on the earth is the raccoon. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice picture. I like that. Raccoon, talented, shadowy, in hiding. Raccoon energy is at play within all artists to greater or lesser degrees. At best, it indicates talent, tenacity, and skillfulness with a particular musical instrument or creative tool. Its shadow side paints to an unresolved issue around self-image and success. Sometimes using a stage name or wearing a mask works in an artist's favor. Other times, it limits creativity. I am who my audience thinks, um, am I who my audience thinks I am? What if I am already, what if I am ready to grow into something more? Raccoon energy won't let us off the hook until this creative ego fear is resolved. When in balance, generous friend, exceptional artist. When out of balance, competitive, starving artist. To bring into balance, make new work. Hmm. Okay, next up, the fox, earth energy. Fox, smart, strong partner, oh. smart, strong partner or mate, wise teacher. The fox is an enchanting creature with plenty of mystique to go around. Fox personalities are skillful in business and also make great teachers. They are quick to learn and adapt well to new situations. Foxes are ideal life partners as they commit to relationships for the long term and their natural uh, charisma keeps things exciting. Fox energy helps us stay true to those most dear to us. When this card appears, reconnect to those you love. Foxes don't do well when they slip away. When in balance, magical, ingenious teacher, monogamous. When out of balance, sneaky, unsure of their identity. To bring into balance, partnership, and connection. 
Nice. Next Earth Energy card. Oops. The snake. Isn't that gorgeous? What a beautiful, yes, that's a beautiful card. Snake, guardian of unawakened magic and creative potential. The snake is a symbol of our highest potential. It is said that Shakti, Shakti, S-H-A-K-T-I, Shakti, our creative life force, lies dormant at the base of our spine in the, for, in the form of a coiled snake. Regardless of whether this image rings true for you, it's well worth considering the amount of unawakened or untapped potential within. What would life look like if you woke it up? How can you stir it from slumber? An experienced yoga or meditation teacher can lead the way. Make haste. The snake card appears when there is no more time to waste. When in balance, prosperous, creative, charismatic. When out of balance, starts and stops many things. To bring into balance, Kundalini Yoga, Meditation. Okay. Next card is the buffalo. And we're still on earth. Buffalo. Grounded yet heavenly. Practical yet spiritual. The hooves of the mighty buffalo are grounded in the earth, yet its heart and mind rise toward heaven. The buffalo sees challenge, hardship, or a bump in the road as an opportunity for upliftment. Is upliftment really a word? Therefore, buffalo does not fear death, illness, or misfortune. Its gentle eyes look into the road ahead, or look to the road ahead, trusting every turn. May we all experience this elusive yet life-changing bliss from time to time. And may we allow this card to remind us that life is a precious gift. When in balance, trusting pure presence. When out of balance, restless lacks gratitude. To bring into balance, prayer and bhakti. Bhakti? B-H-A-K-T-I. Bhakti. Okay, next earth card. Oh, the lamb. Look how pretty that card is. Okay, lamb. Peaceful, uh, prophetic, patient. The lamb is the bearer of an important message. Its contents can only be heard when a deep level of quiet has been established. Lamb energy is the honest guidance you hear from an old friend, a young child, or sometimes a surprising stranger. Though the lamb's message may channel through another person, the wisdom resonates within you. It will repeat and reverberate until you listen. Approach this gentle creature with utmost patience and reverence. Truth is a gift. Sit still, listen, receive. When in balance, knowingness, inner peace. When out of balance, quiet, timid, concerned. To bring into balance, meditation and listening. Okay. Next earth card. Da, 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 da. The elk. These cards are just gorgeous, very nicely done. I'm so impressed with this deck. Um, elk, stable, resilient, headstrong, the father. The great elk represents the earth element in its masculine form. 
This means it provides underlying support and stability amidst life's many changes. An elk personality, whether male or female, is fully established in themselves and knows their core values. They become known and respected for acting in ways that uphold those values. Sometimes the elk's ego can become inflated, but for the most part, they make damn good fathers, mothers, lovers, and friends. The world needs more elk energy. When in balance, supportive, kind, consistent. When out of balance, pretentious, high and mighty. To bring into balance, eat and drink more consciously. Hmm. Interesting. Next card. The deer. That's a beautiful card. I really dig these cards. Okay. Deer. Loving, intuitive, graceful, the mother. The deer represents the feminine aspects of earth energy. This energy is available to all creatures, regardless of gender, but is especially patient in new parents. Is especially potent in new parents. Sorry about that. During the first few days, they are fully present, nurturing and calm. Their inner beauty radiates and a sense of grace calms the room. A dear personality affects others in this way, drawing them toward a quiet tenderness. The dear card may appear when a birth or celebration of new life draws near, or when a situation calls for absolute gentleness and compassion. When in balance, receptive, compassionate, nurturing. When out of balance, concerned and protective. To bring into balance, uh, nature and children. Okay. Next card. A wolf. These are gorgeous cards. Wolf, guardian of family and tribe activism and ritual. The wolf's mission is to uphold the, wall, uh, the well-being and longevity of the pack. Healthy wolf energy expresses itself through activism, mentorship, humanitarian efforts, or teaching, religious or political studies. The wolf gets into trouble when it assumes every member of the tribe must follow suit. This includes children walking in their parents' footsteps. Although it will surely be uncomfortable at first, practicing tolerance helps balance out agitated wolf energy. Contemplate the following. Embrace all, um, exclude none. When in balance, reliable, democratic, fearless. When out of balance, judgmental, dominating. To bring into balance, practice letting go. Wow. Okay, next earth energy card. Da, 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 da. Ooh, kind of real. Spider, creator of prosperity through life's work, Dharma. The spider is an ingenious creature. Its greatest gift is weaving the thread of Dharma into a vast intricate web that supports the spider and those around it, both financially and spiritually. It is a hard worker, but the spider neither tires nor becomes impatient. This card reminds us creativity is everywhere. Be process-oriented rather than results-oriented. And soon your quote-unquote work becomes like the weaving of a magical, priceless tapestry. Abundance follows. When in balance, appreciative, enthusiastic, prosperous. When out of balance, discouraged, tired, forlorn. To bring into balance, playful creativity. Ooh. I like that. Next earth card. Please. 
the horse. Horse, 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 of course. Okay. Horse. Momentum, freedom, expansive energy, and force. The horse represents the most masterful form of earth energy within the deck. It provides us with momentum so reliable, so supportive, that you can ride on its back toward any goal, no matter how difficult the terrain. A horse personality is fully awakened, fully alive, and cannot be defeated. The horse's freedom becomes available to us when we hone and collect our energy through daily practice. Physical stamina, exercise, and mental focus meditation are the secret weapons behind the horse's legacy. When in balance, achieves anything, never gives up. When out of balance, runs away, feels weak. To bring into balance, strength training. Okay, and that's it for the elements of earth. The next... Uh, video is going to go over the elements of water. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Element of water is next. So we're going to end this video here and we'll, I'll see you in the next video. Um, going over the animal spirit, the wild unknown animal spirit um, deck. And I'm really enjoying this. If you are enjoying this and you would like to purchase your own, um, I do have an affiliate link in the description box. Um, if you are enjoying these reviews, uh, please like and subscribe. And if there are other decks that you would like for me to review like this, please uh, make note in the comment section. I read all of the comments. I don't always reply to all of them, but I read all of them. So um, let me know if there's a deck out there that you would like for me to review. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video and have a great night. Bye.